Hey, Mike Davenport here, Louisville Chevy dude, and I'm coming to you from our showroom this time here in Louisville, Kentucky to show you uh, a couple things. Before I do so, uh, please don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So with this episode of Ask the Chevy Dude, I've been asked several times of why the lift gate, or excuse me, why the deck lid is so hard to close. It's not that hard to close. It's very, very simple. Um, it's just a matter of getting some, used to something new. So uh, as we remember on our C6, right down center, we had a button to open this up. That's, that's gone. It's moved to the right a little bit. The reason why we have a backup camera there now. So basically, if you go to the tip of the T of the very first TN Corvette, it's right there and voila it opens very very simple to use we all know how that works that's not a big deal just a matter of where it's at now first tee right below it it's right there where in the past it used to be to the bottom of the uh, Corvette logo so um, the old C5 we used to have to leave a door open to get all that pressure out of the car with the C6 came newer and, and bigger things and better things and we had the mechanism that would pull down the the uh, deck lid so um, no more of the pull down, don't expect to see it. The reason why is they get, did away with it because of weight. Um, trying, to, trying to reduce weight on these on, in a few different areas and that was one of the things. Um, the reason why we don't have that mechanism anymore behind the fascia here, which the, the video of, of uh, the guy explaining it way too much uh, is, is uh, in the links. You can watch it and it explains the, the reverse, the fan that blows out air when you close it. So it's very simple to do. The design of this, number one, there's a handle right here. I had somebody on the Corvette forum say, oh, I never noticed a handle before. That's why I have these episodes of Ask the Chevy Dude, because I try to point out everything that I can. So when you close this, if you don't give it an oomph, it's not gonna close. So that was a very light close, very, very uh, simple close, and it did not close all the way. So if I put a little bit more oomph into it, there you go, it's closed 100%, it's not gonna open back up. Another way to do it is if you don't give it enough oomph to close it, if you're a little person or, or not strong, I had, I, had a, I had someone tell me that, hey, I weigh 100 pounds and, you know, little lady. So, you know, so there's, there's a million reasons why you couldn't close it as hard as I just did. But if, if you close it like that, right center, right at the tip, just push down on it right there. It's very simple to do, not much weight, not much pressure to do. Um, now I'm 6'3", so I have, a, I have a little bit of a height advantage on a lot of things. So even if, I, even if I put this down right here and come to my knees, I can still close it with having not, a much, not much weight up to the top here. So I hope this answers how to close this. Uh, thanks for watching. Again, drive safely, and I'll show you one more time. Right at the bottom of the T is the open. Comes up. Didn't close. Push on it, that's all there is. Hey, ask any questions you see, and I hope that this helps answer some of the uh, uh, debate on why this is closing so odd or so different. Uh, but again, if there's any questions I can answer for you, please feel free to ask in the comments, or you can go to my website, louisvillechevydude.com, and fill out a form there and send me a question. I'll be more than happy to answer it for you. Thanks again for watching, and drive safely.